Hello, um, this is the firmware update for the Hupson Zeno. Um, I installed a um, firmware update to uh, 1.0.43 that was available on December um, 17th, uh, 2018. Um, and uh, for me, the, the previous firmware update had um, made me be not able to connect my um, Xeno to the um, iOS app. It would not um, connect, it would not get an FPV uh, image. Um, so basically I, I wasn't flying. So I installed this update, so the day it came out the 17th and um, followed the procedures according to the video and uh, everything went well. Um, I am now able to uh, connect again to the iOS app and also, I um, have the uh, camera functions now. I'm able to access uh, the different, um, you know, image uh, quality such as uh, 4K, uh, 2.7K, 1080P, and um, 720P. Um, the only pr issue I have is that uh, 60 frames per second is only available in 1080P and uh, 720P, not in uh, 4K and 2.7K. Um, I also discovered on my test flight that sport mode was still not working. Um, you know, when you press the sport mode button, uh, not, nothing happens at all. It doesn't go any faster. It doesn't react any better than it does in regular mode. Um, I'm running some of the, uh, the flight footage um, from uh, my first flight after upgrading to the, uh, the, the firmware update we just spoke of. Um, the video still... Um, seems to be a little soft. Um, I, I've talked to a few people and I think it may be an issue um, with the compression that um, the uh, Xeno may be over compressing the video and, and ruin the quality. Um, I, I don't know that for sure. That's just speculation at this point. But um, it kind of does make sense. Um, so, you know, keep... Uh, Keep a, be aware of that, and I will keep you uh, updated if I find any more uh, information out on uh, on that issue. Uh, and mum, mum from Hupson on the whole soft focus issue. Uh, it's almost like they don't acknowledge it at this point. Um, you know, they said that there's no nothing in this firm date or the firmware update or the next one that uh, would address um, this issue we're talking about. Um, okay. Um, one big improvement of this um, update is now uh, the drone passes the GPS accuracy test uh, with ease every time. Um, so that issue has been solved, at least for me. Um, and it seems to get a GPS lock much faster than it used to uh, before this update. I used to take it off and it seemed to be in altitude hold mode for a couple minutes until it locked into GPS mode really good. But uh, that seems to be uh, much better. Than, than it was before it seems to lock in uh, maybe not immediately but you know within a few seconds of being in the air um, I'm trying to go down my list here of uh, stuff I've found um, it still has that uh, flash of color issue that appears randomly in the video where you just get like a, a best I can describe it as a flash of color um, or a white out a, a couple of different ways it happens but uh I still see that in the video. Um, I don't know what causes it, but um, it still happens randomly. I can't seem to find a pattern to, to where it happens. Um, you know, overall, the F, you know, I mentioned about the, the flash, but overall, the FPC, FPV signal seems to be uh, working very well. I get out to 400 meters easily um, with no uh, loss of um, video connection uh, at all, you know, so um, I will go further as. Um, you know, as we get further in, further into the testing process here, but I'm, I'm happy with the uh, the FPV uh, uh, connection um, so far. Um, and overall, it seems to be flying, uh, you know, real well. I have no issues with a you know lost con connection to the uh, transmitter or or not responding to the uh, stick commands. I mean, I, I believe the sticks could be a little more precise, but um, you know, it can fight the wind enough to get back to me. Um, you know, when I'm it's flying uh, against the wind. Here's uh, some of the settings I'm talking about. Um, 
you know, I can't change. Uh, here's some of the things I could change. The white balance, the sunny day. Um, here's your resolutions. Here's some of your color things here. Um, I tried a couple of them out. Um, the, the bright seemed to work well when I was, um, you know, in the dark, uh, looking at, at the sun and creating the dark things. Uh, here's the GPS accuracy test, and you can see that it, um, you know, uh, got the good accuracy almost right away. There's a, there's a color flashing I'm talking to you about. This time, I'm not actually flying the drone. I'm just holding it like I'm flying it, and you can see the, the flashing has appeared maybe three times already. So, uh, I mean, I'm very happy with the, the gimbal on this thing. The gimbal, uh, it really seems to work well. I mean, uh, it's a three-axis gimbal, and it really seems to uh, stabilize the, uh, the video very much so. So, um, again, I'm just kind of walking around, um, hand-holding it. Um, and I had a theory, too, for a while that... Um, if you uh, just went off the FPV signal, that you wouldn't get the soft focus issues. But here, this is a um, <laughs> screen recording from the FPV signal, and it still looks soft. So, um, my theory's blown. But, um, you know, the colors, you know, are good. It seems to handle the uh, lower light uh, here. The exposure changes, uh, you know, better than... Uh, when you're flying towards the sun, it seems to have some issues. Sorry, my voice is a little scratchy here. You always get a some kind of a cold around the holidays. But um, uh, we have a new firmware update. It just came out uh, about a week ago, and I haven't applied it yet. I've been kind of busy with the holidays, busy relaxing with the holidays, but I'm about to um, upgrade to this uh, latest version. I don't have the number here, but... Um, I don't think it has any any help for the uh, camera issues, but um, you know it improves a lot of the f flight quality, which I haven't had a lot of issues with the um, flight performance or flight quality. Not as much as some of the other people. I mean, um, I haven't flown that much. It's winter time here in New Jersey, and um, you know you get you get one good. Day. You're lucky if you get one good day a week to go outside. Maybe one good day every two weeks. So. Um, yeah, that's um, that's about it. I'll probably just I don't think I have anything else to throw in here, so I'll just um, maybe wrap it up here, put a little music in. Um, I don't know why I put uh, both flights in here. So um, okay, everybody, uh, thanks, and uh, I'll be back soon with another update. Oh, great, thanks for watching. Goodbye.